Now the issue with rendering a white product on a white background is sometimes you can lose the product in the background. So I just wanted to highlight this to you because I have a few tips that we can work on to make sure that we have a really nice render, okay? So if we take a look at the environment that I've used, I've got this blank gray background that is the background pin. And then I wanted some directionality with our pins as well, okay? So if I turn on just this main pin, I'm lighting this from the front. I'm also giving it the back light that we mentioned before in our three point lighting. So this large pin is actually lighting the rear of the product and giving us an edge light that's gonna be quite nice. And I've also got this really small, sharp and bright highlight that's just pushing our shadows down and uh, giving us some nice directionality, okay? So how do I stop the plastic from fading off into the white background and we lose the silhouette? Well, to do that, I actually don't use a solid color. I actually use this called a color gradient, okay? So in the diffuse where we want our color, I've come down and I've selected color gradient from this drop down menu, okay? Now this color gradient allows us to change the gradient of the color. <laughs> so we can map this in different ways, just like we usually can with any texture. And we'll come into that in more detail a little bit later on. But for now, I just want to show you this called view direction. And essentially what that's doing is anything that the camera is looking at, the color will be the, what it is on the left. And anything where the angle, so the roll off of the body, anywhere where the camera is looking at it at a really acute angle, then the color will become the uh, the one on the right. 